Well, we're here at Urban Barn today and we're with interior stylist Jeanette. Now, Jeanette, how did you know this is kind of the time of year that people need a few tips and tricks on how to update their style? I think we've got extra time on our hands in the summer and we look around our home and we might say, I don't know if this reflects my personality as much as I want to or I need a few updates. So there's some really affordable ways to bring a fresh approach to your home. We like affordable. So uh, give us an idea of you have some great things lined up for us here to specifically talk to. Let's start with this uh, owl. I have a red owl in my room and this would look perfect with it. Owls are all the rage and I love this one because I love adding a wink or something whimsical to your home. Okay. And he's perfect because he can work as a stool or an end table or you could put some books or a flower, uh, flower pot on him. He's really kind of fun. So that's a great way to bring in that wink. Okay. Other fun ways to bring in color is just by adding colored candles. So you can see how fresh that green is and it goes so well with our throw pillows in the back here. Right. And is green a specific it color for the season or is are you saying any kind of pop of color would work? Any pop of color works but green, this chartreuse green, a beautiful mustard yellow, they're really in for the season. Okay, good to know. What else do you have for us? Other finishing touches. You always want to make sure your home looks magazine ready. So I love this new product from Windex. It's the Windex Multi-Surface Disinfectant Clean Cleaner. Okay. And it's really easy to use. You just dab it clean it and done and it's nice to have out so little messes say you have guests coming over last minute and there's some coffee stains or a little toothpaste out right. you can have this out just dab it clean it and go oh, other finishing touches I love having a bowl of candy of course you want to keep this in the cupboard when the kids are around <laughs> right. but if you have guests over and I've got some you know vintage candy in there just put it out it's kind of a conversations piece okay and finally if you've got anything that's damaged like a chipped frame or even a leg on a chair right. think about spray painting it a metallic it will reflect any damage Okay. and you can even get a hammered spray paint so then if something is a little slightly flawed it actually looks like it's part of the the beauty of it okay and so do you have to uh, touch up the whole thing then with that same color or you're just mentioning the specific areas that are damaged I would touch up the whole thing if you're doing a frame do it all metallic if you're doing the legs on a sofa do all of the legs obviously but it's really easy to use just put some newspaper out and go to town okay so you're if you had to give us one big tip for making your house magazine ready, like you said, even for those of us who have a one-year-old ripping around the place, what would that one tip be? Make sure that your home is a backdrop to your life. Make sure it represents your personality, because if you look in magazines, you always want to dive into those people's lives. Absolutely. So that's what you want to do with your own home. Okay, so, and we don't all need to go out and hire a personal stylist. We can do some of this on our own, you think? You know yourself the best, so just like write a list of things that you love, even subjects that you're passionate about, errors in time or music, and and start bringing those elements into your home and you'll find that you love it even more. Perfect. What is one of the biggest mistakes we make uh, nowadays when we are looking at uh, designing our interior space? I think it's being afraid. That we're afraid of adding color. We're afraid that, you know, we want to sell the home in five years. Let's not put up wallpaper. Okay. Live in the moment, people. Bring that fun stuff in. Embrace your home and have fun with it. If it looks right, it is right. And if you're enjoying it, chances are when it comes time to sell, someone else is going to enjoy it as well. Exactly. Okay, good tips. We're going to have more with Jeanette coming up a little bit later in the show and we're going to talk then specifically about a couple s pieces that really are going to reflect your own personal style. Exactly and a little vintage shopping as well. Vintage shopping. We're shopping here at Urban Barn today on Go Calgary. We'll be back with more with Jeanette right after this.